What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I've got a bit of a different one for you. We're going to be painting some murals in the city uh, at a Vietnamese restaurant. So I thought I would shoot this episode a little bit more like a vlog, first time doing that. So let's get to it and see what happens. And let's head to the city. All right, so just to give you a bit of a run through on what I'm using. Uh, I'm using these pots of Global Fine Artist acrylic paint. Uh, got these for about 10 bucks a pop. Just working with mainly primary colors uh, to mix essentially everything that I will be needing. Um, got these little just disposable takeaway containers, which are really great for keeping paint nice and wet and being able to just chuck them out when you're done and not having to clean a million pallets. Um, I've got my brush, brush sort of travel cloth here, um, which is great for sort of keeping him safe while I'm coming in and out of the city. Pretty stuff explanatory there. Some nice wide bristle brushes for when I am blocking in large areas of the wall. Um, of course, my painter's tape for marking things off. Some chalk for sketching things in. And the way I'm sort of doing it, I'm not sure if you can catch this on the camera, is I'm just measuring out uh, from using this as my sort of base measurement, where the table's gonna go, and measuring outwards 1.5 meters by one meter, I've got a basic uh, four tile grid, just to make sure that everything is nice and in proportion. And that's about it. Um, of course, my tripod, other handy things, uh, you know, nice Bluetooth speaker, and a palette. I mean, whatever you sort of see is fit, but this is sort of my, my work process whilst I'm painting. All right guys, so coming up on finishing the second mural today, uh, which I've got quite a lot of progress done, uh, which has been good. 
Um, the painting is taking a little bit longer than sort of what I had planned on, pretty much just because the walls are so yellow that it takes quite a lot of paint uh, to really get anywhere and to get my colours to pop out and contrast together, which is a bit of a bummer. But that's all right, we're getting through it. So this is the uh, this is what I've been working on today, which I will definitely get done today at some point. Um, I've got another mural going there and one more going there. And this is one that I finished off yesterday, um, which came out pretty cool. So the idea is that these little prongs is where the table is going to go and they're going to look like they are sitting on the back of the bike. But uh, I'm filming sort of as much as I can, but because I'm limited to uh, only a couple of memory cards and it's been long days so far, um, I've run out quite a few times. So just film in segments, I'll share what I can and I'm gonna get back to painting. All right guys, so coming up on finishing it finally. Um, got a couple of last minute adjustments. All I have to do now is finish off this text, uh, which is four different Vietnamese cities. Uh, pull off the tape and hit it with some fixative, which is this stuff here. It's a satin varnish, um, super easy to apply. You really just spray it on um, something like this. It's a lot more applicable than having to use uh, a brush and it also goes a lot further. If, if I use the brush and a liquid varnish, um, you find that the wall just soaks up a lot of the varnish and you would need a lot of it to get anywhere. Um, but with the spray, uh, it's definitely just like way easier to apply and will create the same effect. We'll protect it and make it easy to clean. But that's about it. Then we can also add on our benches and I'll take a couple of photos of that and it's done.